After several months of writing by ourselves, it was time to bring someone in with fresh ear to hear everything and go, okay, here's what I'm hearing. What do you guys think? Bouncing ideas off of each other. And Peter Katz has told us, you know, what about Don Gilmore? This dude, man, he could sing, he could play guitar. He could play bass, he played everything. He knew harmonies, he knew backups. He, he was a full on musician. So that's what was like inspiring for me. He's amazing and he's so talented. He hears things that I don't hear. He brought out and helped us develop the songs to a level that we were all happy with. That last song, Homo, yeah. what if that chorus was in this song? He's a producer and that's why he's so good at what he does. He kind of challenged us right away, like before we even got in a room. I think you got the old corn sound like covered. Why don't you guys try to write some stuff that you normally wouldn't write? Just go for it. We did Path to Italian. That's, that was a complete, you know, bass music record with the dubstep, drumstep, all kinds of stuff. And so when we wanted to do this record, I wanted to keep those elements, but just sprinkle them in there in true corn style, like we did with like Fall Leader and first corn record, where it was really influenced by hip hop stuff. It wasn't overly that but it was in there so I wanted to take those elements and, and put them in what we were doing so I programmed a whole bunch of stuff upstairs and working with Head and Monkey did some stuff up there with them I was just hanging out with Don I just started playing songs that I did because everybody knows I write every night I just do it for the fun of it. So I played him a whole bunch of stuff and that was one of the songs, Little By First Hitus. The song never left my head. John's melodies in that song are so great. The chorus always gave me chills, and I'm thinking I would love it for that to be on the new record, the contrast of it. It needed Brian's touch on it and have it a little darker because the lyrics are really dark. The cool thing about the original version is that there's a definition in sections. You know, the, yeah. the, it has that, that cool uh, calm thing in the pre-chorus I like a lot. And we just need to lift it. So we went back through and and rework the whole song and, and that's how you hear it now. I'm really proud of the way that song came out.